What's going on today, guys? It's that time of the month where we look at the newest release from Jack Wolf Knives. This month, it is the Javelina Jack. This is available today. Click the link below if you're interested, if you like what you see. And I'm gonna go over some of the things that I think make this knife so great. The walk and talk, maybe number one. But that goes for all the Jack Wolf knives. I love this pattern. This is a sow belly pattern. Has this nice, beautiful, organic shape to the frame. I like how he's really thought about the design of this knife when it's closed just as much as when it's opened. You can see this swedge starts here, rolls down and falls into the frame along with this clip point. And this is a trailing clip and still there's no danger of cutting yourself. What I mean by like a trailing point clip is it actually has a slight upturn at the end there. And with this swedge, starts up here and ends just a little bit before the very tip of the knife, which keeps that tip nice and strong. Well, strong as it can be, you know, it's still a very thin, really good piercing tip but not super thin where you're gonna actually break the tip off if you're using it, you know, as a slip joint knife or a cutting knife, not a prying knife. So what makes this pattern so great to me is how it looks like it's going fast when it's open. And what do I mean by that? Do you guys remember like the hot rods in the 70s, maybe early 80s, where they would jack up the rear, slam the front down, they'd put the front on little bicycle tires, have this on like rear drag slicks, nice big meaty tires, and it has this raked down look like a hot rod. Uh, to me, this knife has those type of vibes to it. The way that this comes up higher and then about right here to right here kind of swoops down and gives it this little organic. You barely see it, but it is there. This is not a straight line from here to here. And then complements it with this beautiful long clip on the blade here. Again, some of this is uh, Ben's interpretation of the sow belly pattern, which is why I love he's not just tracing patterns. He's adding his own taste and vibe. And you can tell he's very educated in knife patterns. And I think it shows when you see the profile of these knives. And then also how complimentary they are when closed as well. Somehow this knife closed still looks like it's going fast in my opinion. Just how the lines, this doesn't stick out a whole lot right here. The way he's got it tucked down into the frame. Um, not quite a sunken pivot, but... Um, not a whole lot of that hanging out there. And then this gets wider here and then rolls back down into here with the swedge the way it disappears in the frame. I like how he's thinking about the full package here. These Jack Wolf knives are really done right. You can see the fit and finish on these things. The materials, if you didn't see, they went to S90V again for this release like they did last month's release of the low drag. Again, thinly ground, hollow grind with the S90V. Again, you're getting titanium hardware on the exposed hardware. That's titanium. Titanium frame that's been milled out for these camo carbon covers. These are in the Brittany blue. I think there's four or five different variants of the carbon fibers. I know there's a green one. And I can't remember the other two options or maybe three other options. And then I know they also have it in the only Micarta choice is in this natural Micarta that's like in this Venom Jack here. And that one is really good looking as well. So you can't go wrong. I fidget with these things nonstop. They're very addicting. Uh, I love the contour. This one falls right in your hand. The classics are classics for a reason. Your thumb just kind of naturally falls where this kind of goes a little flat, a little to the upsweep there. 
it's so cool to see these traditional patterns that are just done right thin thin hollow ground blades that cut really well paired up with the modern materials and um they're ready for work if you're thinking that these are just show knives or something that you collect and they're not really meant to work because they're slip joints uh, i don't think you could be more wrong i just uh posted a knife collection video with all my traditional knives and these have like the most firm pulls out of all of them which makes the walk and talk very distinct especially when you pair it up with the thin hollow ground blades. I say it on all the Jack Wolf knives for views, but they almost ting. Like you can hear the blade steel resonating because they're ground so thin, almost like a uh, straight razor. I've been breaking down a bunch of cardboard with this knife over the past few weeks. Uh, we redid my boy's bedroom, so he's got some new floating shelves and things like that and some uh, closet organizers and things like that. And I broke down all the cardboard into like tiny little three foot strips just to cut with this knife. And uh, I didn't film it or anything, but I've been using the heck out of it. It's so weird because uh, for many years, I've loved traditional knives, but they're usually in 1095 blade steel. And that's something that you can cut up cardboard with, certainly, the 1095. But you wouldn't want to break down like a refrigerator cardboard box into tiny little squares. But with these Jack Wolf knives, with this S90V or even the M390, they're ready to go to work. If I had to break down a bunch of cardboard, I'd be like, yep, that's a job for my Jack Wolf knife. <laughs> they're not just to look pretty. They're not just art pieces they are functional art made really well made to last and really made to work i know some people might be a little concerned you know it's a slip joint knife there's no lock on it i don't know if i could actually use it uh, if you're cutting things again in my opinion i know traditional knives are not for everybody but if you think they might be um, just think about it. When you're cutting stuff, if you're cutting responsibly, there's there's no reason that the knife would fail on you. And then if it does, yeah, I mean, you really have to mess up to get this thing to actually fold all the way. Because the spring is stiff. So that's just my opinion. I love traditional knives, though, so... I like that we have the option now as buyers to go modern traditional like this and uh, still the old school like GEC style knives with 1095 they're still available just because these are out doesn't mean that those are any less valid or anything it's just another option um, I'm really really digging these though this S90V in the new releases and I don't know if he's going to keep that up the S90V uh, with the newer releases. I guess we'll see. I know no more than anybody else does. So there you go. Here's some clip points next to each other. And it's got a little bit of the leather sheath in there. And uh, I guess I should show you some of the tin. This is a sow belly design, right? So sow belly is pig, which means javelina jack. I believe that's something to do with a pig as well. You got the pig on the artwork with the Jack Wolf Wolf. And for the packaging here, you have your pog with that artwork on it. You have a pink microfiber branded, of course. And then you have your sticker in there as well. This piggy ain't little no more with the Jack Wolf there so these are available today uh if you're watching this a few months down the road or this is you know you just stumble upon it they probably won't be available i know um watching a live stream that ben wolf not ben wolf ben belkin was on uh he was saying that 
when he re-releases the knives, they won't be in the same configuration. So maybe they'll have a different blade shape, maybe something. The covers won't be the same, but they won't do the same exact knife again. So much like GEC, kind of following that same pattern. I forgot. Also, you get your Jack Wolf knife slip in the package. So if you buy a Jack Wolf knife, you do have the entire pack to get started. You got your slip, you got your knife, and uh, you're ready to go. How I carry these is I carry them in my front left pocket next to my phone, and then I have a modern locking knife in my right pocket. So I have two options. Uh, not that I need it, but I'm a knife guy. And I absolutely love being overknifed for every occasion. I love having the options and I love just having them available to me. There's times where I'm just sitting in a conference call or something, you know, and I'll just start having this guy out just admiring and kind of like a worry stone, just kind of feeling and doing, you know, how you fidget with things when you're on a conference call or something. So. It's not to say that these aren't ready for work. I'm just saying I carry way more knives than I need. And I've been carrying a Jack Wolf knife every day, almost every day, consistently for the past six months or so, seven months. Can't get enough of them. I love that they're ready to go to work with the modern blade steels in them, the thin hollow ground blades, ready to cut up a refrigerator box if needed. And uh, that's it. That is the Javelina Jack. I appreciate you guys hanging out. Plenty more videos on the way. Links below if you're interested in this one. See ya.